Time for fantasy brackets. It's that time of the uh, time of the day, time of the year. And before somebody even says it, I know it's gonna take me 45 minutes to make a fucking bracket, but it's okay. Fantasy brackets are always hard, dude. Should I make them the Super Saiyan jams again? Bum 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 bum. Hold on. Super Saiyan jams. Did I spell that right? Okay. Oh, whoops. Man, Goichi is expensive. Damn, Hook Gang God is expensive now because of that summit win. So first, I need to click yield bracket. Uh, let, let me check something. What is this right here? Is this out of pools? Because pools are back here, right? Gotcha. So, that's interesting. Super new and Kazunoko have to play for winners top 24. Holy shit. Some of these paths are interesting. Sonic Fox on his side of the bracket would have Teemo. Wow, really? I didn't know Alyun is coming to this. That's crazy. It's good to know. Yeah, I can't believe Sonic Fox isn't more expensive than Hook. That's uh, very surprising to me. So, top 24, right? This is the projected top 24. It has most of the usual suspects. Damn, it has Hook Gang God getting second after beating Sonic Fox, huh? So. Let me think here. Some thoughts. Uh, of all the strong players here, I think Fenrich is the cheapest best deal right let me uh, actually do this by the way I think of all the strong players here so that it'll make it easier for you guys to see it of all the strong players here I think Fenrich is the cheapest best pick right or Chris Chris not making top eight is pretty unlikely did I hear about the laughing thing? You mean the Twitter thing? Of course. I follow everybody on Twitter who was in that argument. So my Twitter feed was just a giant amalgamation of people arguing and talking shit to each other. And like, the thing is, is like, I can see why both of them feel the way they do, right? I feel like I understand both points of the argument here. But I feel like this is one of those things that they could have just fucking handled by talking to each other instead of like being on Twitter. I was reading their tweets. And I was like, you guys sound like children. Like, Jabali's responses, Leffen's response, everybody's responses. I was like, ugh. Like, both of you just should just speak to each other like adults and talk this out, right? That's why I try not to engage in arguments on Twitter as much anymore. Like, people will just talk shit on me and I just try to ignore them. Because it's like, it, it's just bad. Because there's other people that are like me, right? That'll see this argument and be like, you guys fucking sound like children. Oh, God. Punk is here? What's good, Punk? Punk, I heard you've been playing Cody. He's fucking mad fun, right? I've been playing him. I think he's pretty good. I don't think he's, like, the best. But I think he's pretty good. He definitely anti-airs every character. It's crazy. His anti-airs are so good. Teach you how to talk to girls at CEO. Be yourself. And treat them like normal human beings. And everything will be fine. Because either they won't like you, and that's fine. Or they will. And that's great. It's not that complicated. Cody is fun, but BB Tag is more fun. Are you in BB Tag at CEO, Punk? You better win. You've been talking so much about playing this game. Man, this is fucking hard. 1600 bucks. Last time, didn't they give me less than this? They gave me 1200 right? Just saying, look out for this guy in DBFZ pools. T-Swag, heard he's a killer. As long as he doesn't have Say Jam in his pool, he'll be fine. I can't believe how expensive Hook Gang God is, by the way. I think that he is, because of this price bump, he probably becomes out of my price range. Because I think I'd rather bet on Sonic Fox for cheaper, right? What is this? 
Oh, there's an Avengers ticket stub right there. I think I'd rather bet on Sonic Fox for 20 less bucks than Hook. Because I think they'll both get top 8. But Hook and God is just more expensive, you know what I mean? A lot of times in these kind of things, you just have to pick people who, like, match the right price, right? Put you on your fantasy team? You're probably expensive, dude. I bet you this guy Punk is... Look at this. Why are you $130? You barely play Dragon Ball. How come you cost the same as Momochi and Galileo? Momochi should cost more than you. He beat you at NCR. Why are you 130 bucks? That's crazy. Why are you the same price as Cloud? Can you answer me that? Punk, why are you and Cloud the same amount? Same price. This is his main game. That's the battle for the Stones champion. Why is Lost Soul and Theo the same price as you? Yo, your basketball... Man, that Punk basketball shot hurt me. That actually hurt me. Holy shit. All right, so here's what I think so far. I think of all the, the three top players, I pick Sonic Fox because he's the cheapest out of these three. Then I think at tier down, I want Fenrich. Then after that, I think I want Chris Mo Moke. What's my money looking like? 870 for eight players, right? I think the strategy should be to try to fill these four spots with expensive players. And then four or five spots with expensive players, and then three cheaper players. I feel like at the 150 price range, Moke is the str is Moke, Nakiel, and Leffen is pretty close. I think I like Moke the most. Let me look at his path. Where you, who's who's he got up here? Moke has to play Chris. Chris could win this, though. So, theoretically, if Moke beats Chris, he's got to play Sonic Fox for top eight. Wait, does Moke have to play Punk? Where? Where would Moke have to play Punk? I don't see that. Does he have to play him in Losers? I don't know. Punk, you aren't cooking Moki. He's a per persona player, dude. Who does Punk's path have? Super Noon into Kazunoko. If you beat Kazunoko, where's Kaz at? You have to play Goichi. So you're telling me, Punk, you're going to win against Super Noon, Kazunoko, and Goichi back to back to make top eight? That's what you're telling me? Who do you have in your pool? You're going to get cooked by Zero E Lopez. I don't know. So, yeah, that's Punk's path. He has to beat Super Noon. So, if you get past Super Noob, then you have to play Cause. You beat Cause, you, you got to play against Goichi. I'll tell you, Punk, I think, I'll be honest with you. I think you have a chance to beat Super Noon. I think you could do well against Goichi, maybe. But I think. Kazunoko will fuck you up. Yep, you already said it. Kazunoko, you know what I heard? So this is real, this is real talk. When I got, I asked every player, like, you know, you guys have been playing each other in the Summit house, right? Everybody in the Summit house is playing. And I asked them, and I said, who is the player that you played here that gave you the most problem? Universally, every single person said, yeah, I don't want to play Kazunoko. All of them told me, if I played Kazunoko in tournament, I would have lost. Hook said, like, yeah, if I ran into Kazunoko, he would have fucked me up in tournament. He said if I ran into him in summit in bracket, he would have beat me. That's what he said. Like, he he said basically, like, every player I asked said that. Like, Reynolds said that. Like, fucking uh, Hook told me that. Like, every player basically was right. Like, Cloud, every, every player I asked was like, yo, I actually don't want to play Kazunoko. All of them also told me that if they hadn't played Kazunoko in casuals... They had would have had zero chance to beat him in tournament. They're like, yeah, if I if I had never played against him before, there's no way I would have beat him. Right? Kazunoko ended up losing to I'm pretty sure he lost to Goichi Sonic Fox, right? 
And so Sonic Fox almost lost to him. But all of them told me that basically, yeah, his play style, I couldn't have Lord Knight, all of them. They're like, yeah, if I had never played Kazunoko before, there was zero chance I would beat him in tournament. Now they feel like a little better. But yeah, they're like, if I hadn't played against him before, it would have been it would have been done. Sonic should have lost to Sonic. Really, Punk? That's you want me to put you on my fantasy bracket? You can't even separate people. He should have lost to Kazunoko. If that's what you meant. I agree with you. He should. He he. Sonic Fox is just fucking. I don't know how he does it. Every time I watch that, that's why when I looked at the fantasy team, the first person I put on here. This is like the easiest choice in my life. Yeah, I should put Kazunoko on my team. So they all look alike. You're saying Sonic Fox and Kazunoko look alike? <clears throat> is that what you're saying, Punk? I got you, dog. I should pick one of these two. My budget isn't that big. I think that I have to, like, let's say theoretically if I do this. I have 170 left for four players. Could I actually take like a 130 player and then just get four ten dollar players? Punk, you're so expensive. If I take you, I have forty dollars, so I pick four ten dollar players. You're a multiple top eight player at DBFZ. That's true, technically. Punk doesn't even like the game, says the Echo Fox manager. See, Punk, I don't know. That's not a convincing. Uh, what's it called? That's not a convincing. Uh, Appraisal. Doza? Doza's probably 130. Oh, he's 140. Yeah, he had top 8 at Calm Breaker, so his price went up a lot. How do I feel about the seeding? It's a hard tournament to seed. I haven't looked through the, each individual bracket, but uh, what's it called? I don't know. I If there was a problem with the seeding, then, you know, people should have just chatted about it with themselves. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Punk's a big MVCI fan. He said Dante's cute. You know who is actually mad cute? Not Dante. The new Nero is actually like fucking. He looks great. I can't believe how well his model came out. Let me look at the paths here. So I think in this bracket here, I like Goichi probably, right? And in this bracket here, Kazunoko, Super Noon, Punk, Foxy, Grandpa. I actually don't want to bet on that. I feel like this is such a fucked up bet to make, right? I don't know. This is really hard for me to decide, I think. Because people can't, you can't underrate Foxy Grandpa. You know how people call, talk about Kazunoko being ignorant and just playing with his heart? That's Foxy too. Foxy is so fucking good at playing like situations like that. He makes like the hardest reads. He's like hell above. So yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Foxy is very, very good. I'll warn you right now. If you don't know about Foxy, extremely good. This This quadrant right here, I don't know how I feel about this. Who do I have on my team so far? Goichi, Hook, Sonic, Kaz, Fenrich, Chris, Moke, Punk. If I took out Goichi or Hook, I could, uh, what's it called? If I took out Hook, I could pick like a 130 and someone else, right? Who do I pick at 130 is the question. Who's the best choice at 130, right? Cloud or Momochi? Where is Cloud at? Is he back here? So Cloud would have to play and beat Beyond Toxin and Hook back to back. That's tough. What was Fenrich's game before DBZ? Uh, Blaze Blue. In fact, you should go watch Evo Japan Blaze Blue. Uh, if you want to see some more Fenrich, uh, he's the uh, Evo Japan champ, yeah? Didn't he win this year? I know he was in grand finals for sure, right? So let's say Cloud makes it out of this fucking death bracket down here. Well, wow, Cloud out to play Brian. Oh my god, look at this. Shao Hai, what the fuck? How long has fantasy been taken so far? Ever since I started. 10 minutes after I started, so it's been about 30 minutes. But we've got a pretty, a pretty solid team selected. I just need to pick a. 130 and then the last four slots need to be ten dollar players i think so for 130 i have kizzy k galileo momochi punk uh 
Cloud805, Lossal. Alleyune is not a bad choice, actually. And Theo. I could also pick somebody less than this. Like, I could pick, like, Fame or Foxy or something else. 130 is just the highest I can pick. Cloud in the 130s is not a bad choice. What's Galileo's path like? Anybody in the Goichi path, I don't know if I want to pick. All right, he's not there. Punk is there, though. Kozunoko path. Oh, yeah, it's the same path. Uh, hook path. Galileo has to play Sage and then Apology Man. How much money is Apology Man? I don't want to put my money on Apology Man, but... Oh, 170 is pretty expensive. Why not TSM Leffen? Uh, he's expensive. 150 smackaroos. If I pick Leffen, then I only have 20 bucks left, which I can't make four people with. So I'd have to drop somebody up here and then pick Big Left. Book coming to CEO is tight because I don't think Book has been to any other tournament besides the one he beat Nia at, by the way. Uh, I think in the 130 range, I'm tempted to pick Cloud, Punk, Momochi. One of those three. Cloud's path is fucking hard, but so is... What is Momochi's path? Zero chance Momochi's been playing Dragon Ball, right? He, Chris, Moke, ooh. Sonic, Fox, all their paths suck. It's just a crapshoot. The thing is about Goichi. When you say Goichi was known for his defense, but his defense was non-existent at Combo Breaker and Summit, it's not that his defense is non-existent. It's that Sonic Fox... Previously played a team without real mix-ups and Now that he plays a team with real mix-ups Goichi's defense can only get him so far So he has to make a he has to make an adjustment either He needs to play a team that wins the neutral more so that he's less likely to be forced into a scenario where he has to block the uh, mix-ups or he needs to, uh, what's it called, play a team that has better offense, so that way once he finds a block, like any hit on block, he can just be like, okay, I made Sonic Fox block, now I can mix him up, right? The thing about Gohan is that when he played Gohan before, he had the ability to prevent Sonic Fox from playing with Gohan, right? And that's really good against somebody like Sonic Fox who needs the space, he needs the wiggle room to scramble and force the hits on, like, force the situations where he can make you block. But when you don't give those to him, then his team becomes a lot worse, right? Anyway. What am I going to pick? Should I just pick Theo? I think Cloud has a decent chance. Yeah, Cloud 805. And then who are my $10 picks is the question, right? Who is the best $10 picks? I Heart Justice is a $10 pick. Does anybody have the scoop on the $10 picks? Pick the best names, you're right. Um, I'm just gonna pick people I recognize. PR Balrog. What are the chances that PR Rog is playing the game at all? Or even if he enters the tournament? I don't buy it. I feel like he's just gonna drop out. Omega Tom Hanks. I feel like PR Rog, if he played, he'd be good, but I think there's a 0% chance he's been playing. What about either of you two? Have you been playing? Thompson? Has Thompson been playing Dragon Ball? I would I would actually just pick Finch. I would actually just pick Mad KI players here. Mr. R. Has Mr. R been playing much, though? Oh, boy. I think we might just be picking names. T-Swag got a chance. This guy fucking T-Swag. Are you even on here? Ken in Black is $10. Yeah, I think he was over here, right? Yeah, all right. As long as they don't like go on to, actually, I mean, most of my $10 choices, whatever happens, happens. Are you actually on here? Whoops. You're $70. Fuck you. T-Swag, what the fuck? You're $70. How much money would I cost? If I beat T-Swag, what am I, like a 110 pick? That's what happens. You make... 
T Swipe makes top eight at Evo one year and KI, and they're just like, he's got to be seventy dollars. Yeah, see, he already said it. Make top one Evo top eight, and they're like, yep, you can't be below seventy dollars. I don't know who I'm gonna pick, dude. Forever King, gnarly feats. Thompson. Pick some NRS and KI boys. All right, how many games will be in the grand finals? Let's go five. How many twelve unique characters? Let me let, let me think about this. Let me think about this. Let's get a notepad out. All right, how many characters are gonna be in the top eight? Let me think about this. For sure, characters in the top eight. Who do we got? He's gonna be in the top eight. Vegeta. Kid Boo. Cell. Bardock. Gohan. Piccolo? That's pretty likely. Piccolo. That's six characters. Sixteen? It could happen. Go tanks, go tanks. You're probably, you're probably right. Goku Black, maybe one Android 18 or maybe 18, maybe 16. Yamcha, maybe if Kazunoko is there. Tien, maybe. Trunks, maybe if Moke is there. Yeah, Chris G plays Tien. So does Apology Man. Twenty-one, maybe. So how many characters are pretty likely to be there? Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen at max. So I think we should split the split it here. No, Apology Man's playing Cell now instead of Goku. Vegito, not likely. Yeah, I think it's likely that four of the question marks make it. That's, that's 11. 11 or 12 is my guess. What did I have here? 12. So I'll, I'll say 11. What happened to my notepad? Just fucking not show up on me? Alright, well, no big deal. So I think this is my fantasy bracket. Connect for 25 points. If I lose this by 25 points, I'm trash. The Super Saiyan Jams. I think this is a good team. All right. I will warn you guys that when I plug in my stick, sometimes my computer crashes. I have no idea why. I've looked it up. It's a, it's like a popular it's like it happens a lot right i'm not exactly sure why i'm also not sure why people like apple jack always hit me with the subscription right when i'm switching games thanks very much for the twitch prime i appreciate it if it crashes i'm not coming back if the stream just goes out right now leave i'm warning you i think cody is pretty good yeah it seems like it's like a bit of a grind I'm okay with that. Run, run, run. Lee, 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 Lee.